Let's say you have a dozen tasks that you want to move to a new list. You don't need to move them one at a time. In this video, I'll show you how you can edit multiple tasks at once in TickTick. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, so to get started, I'm here in my inbox and I've got four tasks and I'd like to move all four of those tasks over to my tasks list. One option I have is to use the left handle, this handle icon over here on the left side of the task and drag them one at a time over to my tasks list. Um, but if I want to move all four of them, let me move that one back real quick. If I wanna move all four tasks, there's an easier way. I can select the top task I can hold the shift key down on my keyboard and I can select the last task and that selects all of them. Now I can use any particular handle icon on any task and just drag it and it will drag all four of them over to the tasks list. All right, let me jump over to that tasks list now that all my tasks are in there and select them all again. I'm gonna highlight the first one. I'm gonna hold shift and select the last one. You may have noticed when we did this the first time that a new menu pops up over on the right side, giving you a lot of different options. So let's just go through some of the options that you have over here. You could select a due date. So perhaps you want all four of these tasks to be marked as due today. You would select due date, select today, and now they're all marked today. Same with priority. You can select a priority for, for all of them at once. Maybe they're all a medium priority. You can move them all at once over here from this menu. So if we didn't want them to be in tasks, we wanted to move them back to the inbox, we could do that here. We could mark them with tags all at once. We could mark them all complete at once. All right, then we start getting into some more interesting options. Uh, we can pin all of the tasks at once, and I won't go into what pin means on this video, but you can do it to all four tasks you have selected. You could merge all four tasks. Now that's an option you don't really see anywhere else within TickTick, besides when you're editing multiple tasks at once. I'm gonna come back to that one. We can duplicate. Let's check out what duplicate does. So I got tasks one, two, three, four, all selected. I'm gonna click the duplicate button. Now you can see I have task one copied and my original task one, task two copied and my original task two and so on. So that's pretty cool. So let's say that we didn't actually want those tasks duplicated. That gives me the opportunity to show you another method of selecting tasks. Rather than holding the shift key, the shift key is gonna select every task between the first task selected and the last task selected. So you saw we selected task one and task four and it selected all of the tasks in between. Rather than do it that way, we can hold the control key down instead and it will only select the items that we're selecting. So now I'm holding the control key down I've got task four copied, task three copied, I'm selecting task two, task one. So it didn't select every task in between, it just selected the ones that I clicked on. So now I'm gonna use one of the options over here on the right side and that's gonna be the delete option. And now we're back to just our original four tasks. So let me highlight those once again. This time I'm using the shift option. So we can also convert them to a note. So now they're all converted to a note, you notice that once we convert to note, uh, we can also convert back to a task. So now they're all back tasks. Another thing we can do is we can copy the text. So I've copied the descriptions of the tasks I have highlighted and that would allow me to paste these somewhere. For example, notepad, I'm just gonna hit control V to paste. And now you can see it has the task description and also the due date in parentheses. So that might be useful. All right, and the last option that we kind of skipped over that we're going to swing back to is merge. So I've got the four tasks highlighted and I'm going to click merge. It prompts me and lets me know that these four tasks will be converted to subtasks of a new merged one. So it looks like all four of these tasks are going to become subtasks of a new task. And that's what we see. So the new task is called new merged task. And my four tasks are now subtasks under that. Well, that wraps up this video. We covered how you can edit multiple tasks at once, including some pretty cool functionality like duplicating tasks and merging tasks. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.